Just I want to start out, uh, you know, saying how proud I am of this group for the ability to bounce back after a really tough loss in Indiana the other night. I thought our guys, uh, you know, came out with the right mentality yesterday. When anytime you have a uh, basically a one day prep uh, after an overtime game, getting back uh, two in the morning, and you know, I know our guys didn't get to bed probably till three or four. Uh, you know, like everybody, when you come back from a, on a road trip like that. Uh, so to bounce back with a mental day and really challenge these guys uh, to go out there and put in a game plan and to execute it pretty much to perfection. Um, I thought our energy and focus in our walkthrough this morning was as good as it's been all year. We got them going a little bit, got them a little sweat after not doing much yesterday, and then went out and executed against a, a heck of a team. Uh, you know, this team poses a lot of problems with their size and their physicality. They're the fifth best defensive team in the country. But I thought our execution at the beginning uh, was excellent. Uh, end of the half was excellent. We had that lull, and I think this is where we won the game. We had that lull in the middle of the first half where we couldn't throw that thing in the ocean, but we kept guarding, and we uh, gave ourselves a chance uh, because they were not able to pull away uh, when we couldn't score the ball because of our defensive energy. Um, defensively, I really challenged these two guys, uh, Deshaun and Cam, uh, to go in and help on the glass. It's got to be a five-man effort. Our bigs you know, are giving up size every time we step on the floor. And they responded in the big way with Burke uh, getting seven and Cam going out there and getting 10. So, uh, you know, really pleased uh, with the effort. Uh, you know, one guy that I recognized in our locker room was Charlie. You know, Charlie Easley, uh, you know, works as hard as anybody that I've been around. And, you know, for him to go out there and keep himself prepared and keep himself ready, you know, when you're out of a rotation, which I was plenty of times in my career, uh, you know, you, you, you wait for these types of opportunities and the amount of work you put in uh, will help you prepare to go out and have a positive impact on the game. So, you know, Charlie made some big time toughness plays, uh, hit the two big free throws. I know he's probably upset because they hit the rim. But, you know, he was, uh, went in there and made a big impact. I thought everybody that stepped on the floor tonight had a positive impact on that win tonight. And that's what being a team is all about. And responding to that tough loss the other night uh, was a big time, big time. Uh, performance uh, by these guys to go out and do that. So with that, I'm out of here. No. <laughs> <laughs> you talk a lot about adversity over this whole season. Um, with the circumstances you guys were faced with this weekend, uh, you know, going to Indiana, playing an emotionally, physically draining overtime <clears throat> game in less than 48 hours, come back and, and do it all over again. I guess just how proud of you of the way these guys responded and just handled a, a tough draw there. Well, I'll say this. I was proud of them the other night. And, you know, when you go out and battle like we did at Indiana and, you know, first – opportunity to play in the Big Ten as a road game. And we handled it so much better in a hostile environment than we did that game against Creighton. And I think, you know, I hope that that was a turning point for us, that Creighton game. The next morning, we had a film session where we talked about a lot of things. We were honest about a lot of things. And I don't think guys took it personal. And I think we've grown uh, since that situation. And then to bounce back with that effort in Indiana, um, would have loved to have won it. But, you know, we talked about one of the hardest things in this business is to put a tough, devastating loss behind you. But for our guys to go out there and do that, to bounce back uh, the way we did. And, you know, the other thing I challenged, I said, make, make, make Purdue call the first time out tonight. And they did that, you know, by getting out to that good start and you set the tone. And like I said, then you have that little lull and you're able to sustain because we guarded and then finished off the half in a big way. And then I thought those last 20 minutes, we were phenomenal. You know, we had that little stretch where we didn't rebound it well, but uh, overall, the energy, the effort, uh, you know, guys going out there and playing for each other. We had 26 baskets and 22 assists. That's a big time, big time uh, stat and only 11 turnovers against, like I said, the fifth best defense in the country and a team that really climbs India and makes it tough. So, you know, again, just a really solid overall effort. Cam, what was working so well for you tonight? <clears throat> Basically, just getting my teammates involved, and you know they came through. So, I, mean, I wouldn't have got no assist if they didn't make shots. So I mean, I really came, appreciate my teammates for making shots, helping me out. You know. Did you know that you were close? No, I did not know at all. My teammates are just no, no. <laughs> I didn't know at all. At all. I did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank the crowd, thank the fans. Next game, let's go. Sean, how far has this team come since the first game of the year? Um, we, we've come a long way. You know, I feel like uh, this year, you know, it's been a roller coaster, but uh, <laughs> we're at a point now where I feel like, you know, everybody's just buying in. You know, we're just coming to, with each other, buying into the coaches, you know, myself, you know, watching film with Coach, watching Reeves, and, you know, just buying in, you know, with the team, the coaching staff, because it's all we have, and we're just going to build on this. Sean, you 
struggled a little bit early in the season, but it seems like you've really found your shot. I mean, did you was it putting up more shots? I mean, what was it? Because you kind of you played really well the last couple games. Uh, just everything, you know, staying in the gym, slowing down, you know, and staying with coach, and you know, just staying on my team, just do everything. Cam, are you uh, surprised that there's never been a triple double in the program until you accomplished it? Very surprised, and like. It's been a lot of great people to come through Nebraska. And for me to have the you know, first triple dub, just give glory to God. Charlie, what, what has Coach Weber done or said or the attitude he's given that you guys can play a game on Friday night, lose in a heartbreaker, and then come back and win a game like this? Like, what, what, what's he done to get you guys to play like the way you did tonight? He just told us not to focus on the last game. We just got to keep moving on and keep focusing on the next task and just got to focus up and have good practices and just don't let the don't just mentally don't let the fatigue get to you and just always play hard. Cam, Fred talked earlier about how a big reason for this resurgence is players have improved their preparation. Is there anything you've changed specifically in how you prepare for games now? Well, I just get in the gym more. You know, I, I, I wasn't a gym rat like that, but now I just get in the gym, try to work on my free throws, work on some different stuff. So just really like just locking in. It's the big 10, you know, Hard game every night, and I come to play. Yeah, it was a great feeling. I mean, I'm always, I've always been kind of a crowd feeder, and I've liked the energy. And it was just a great feeling to know that, I mean, be out there with my teammates and affecting the game, and it was good to get the win in the end. Fred, what was the gist of the offensive game plan? It was executed so well. Well, I thought a little bit different than what we had at Indiana. Indiana was more, a lot more movement, cutting, uh, that type of thing. These guys get so much into you and pressure you, and their bigs are more dropped in the pick and roll coverage. So, you know, we really tried to get one of our shooters. You know, we started out with Thor. So Thor would set the screen, we'd dive, uh, the five man Thor would pop up to the top of the floor. Uh, and he'd be out there with an open shot. If he didn't have it, we'd swing it, uh, get the ball moving side to side. And then we had some success with Kevin in that as well. So, you know, with the way they get up into you, uh, it's hard to run the same type of offense that we ran against Indiana. Indiana, we were swinging it, moving it. I thought the ball movement was the best it's been uh, the entire year. Today was more ball screen type stuff. You know, if they're going to come out and pressure Cam at half court, was try to set him, set that screen high and get Cam going downhill against a bigger player. And if he got uh, uh, head two on the ball and they had to help on the roll, that's where Burke hit a couple of those big shots uh, shaken out of that corner. So, you know, again, we, uh, we put two new actions in. Uh, in 24 hours in a prep like today. Uh, and both those things paid off for us. We put in a new inbounds play uh, today as well. Our guys executed a low clock play uh, by getting Kevin a little shot in the baseline over there after a timeout. So, you know, that's what I've seen the growth with this group is, you know, just execution after timeouts. You know, those little things uh, that are so important in adding up to whether you have a chance to win the game or not. Uh, you know, the play that we ran the other day to get Burke the three, uh, put the game into overtime, just that execution has, has been so much better uh, than it was earlier in the year. So, you know, there just seems to be a, a, a better trust level right now with each other, um, you know, throughout this process. And, you know, again, when, you know, you got the ball in Cam's hands and we're setting the screen to draw two players, you know, he's, he's pretty darn good at finding the open man. What would, you, what would you say about Mac as a passer that may not be obvious? I mean, right away, he had two or three really good looks. Is, there, is, is this surprising to you? Is this what you expected? Uh, no, it's not surprising to me. What, 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 when you know you got a really good point guard is when they make really tough plays look easy, and, and that's what Cam does. He's you know a guy that you know will look one way. He knows where he's making the pass, but you know he's looking the other way. So you know the no look plays that he can make, and sometimes that triggers another action. You know what what isn't in the stats or the hockey assist. You know you hit a guy in the pocket, and then he makes the extra pass when the defense is sucked in. Uh, so, you know, that's what we've had the last couple of days, you know, with the ball in Cam's hands. We've had some pretty efficient offense. Fred, uh, how, from where you were after the Creighton game and what happened there, and then to have a weekend like you had here where you played Indiana so tough and did the quick turnaround uh, and won, how uncommon is it in your experience for a team to have the switch flip like it, like it did? Well, I think it just, you know, it talks to the character of your guys to go out, especially, you know, having the adversity with what happened, um, you know, with one of our starting players to be able to, you know, have a guy like Charlie step up and play very meaningful minutes, or uh, getting thrust into the starting lineup and playing big minutes, and you know, getting slashes and cuts with his understanding of what we're trying to do on the offensive end. Uh, Hanif stepping his game up uh, in a big way. You know, Burke shooting the ball with a ton of confidence right now. Our bigs are doing a good job playing their roles. So you know, everybody has to step up in situations like that. And you know, the one thing that 
I've tried not to do and what we've tried to really instill into our group is you can't panic. You know, we, we had a rough start. We've had some tough games early on in their season, but what we've talked about is continuing to trust the process and continue to grow uh, this thing along step by step. And, you know, you can't cut things out. You can't shortcut. You have to come into work every day. Uh, you know, I think our guys are buying into that, getting in the gym more uh, as we continue to go on, and it's paying off for, for our team. Matt Painter talked about how much more in control Mac is and decision making and just being more poised. Have you seen that recently compared to the beginning of the season? Well, I think I've seen it more as a group. I, I think we're trusting things a little bit more. Um, you know, offensively, we're, like, like I said, I mean, we, you know, we chart when we reverse the ball, we're a much more efficient team than when we come down and, and take a shot with zero passes, especially a contested one. Uh, or, uh, you know, come down with, with uh, uh, you know, with maybe a one pass into a contested shot. So we're getting better looks. And, you know, you have to try and get transition points, especially against a team that's as good in the half court as Purdue is. And we got 17 fast break points tonight. And, you know, again, that goes to our guys, you know, instilling those habits, getting out. You can talk all you want about playing fast, but you have to practice playing fast. And to have 22 assists and 11 turnovers against this type of defensive team uh, is a testament to our guys going out there and trusting it. Can Sean be more in control? Sure. Do you feel more in control, more poised than now as opposed to the <coughs> beginning of the year? For sure. For sure, for sure. I mean, it's, it was just, you know, first year with my with Coach Fred, you know. Trust me, I trust him. It's my guy. I love him. So, yeah, I feel way better than I did. Sure. Sean, you uh, were out before the Creighton game shooting threes early, earlier than anybody. Is this? Did, have you been working on threes more lately or have you been doing that all along? Um, well, when I first came in, uh, I have been working on threes, but this year, you know, Horberg, you know, he's been on me a lot. You know, my footwork, just, you know, shooting and staying the same, you know, balancing my highs and lows as well. So I just stay in the gym, really. That's all I really just been staying in the gym and then buying in with Fred. And I have good teammates that give me good shots and give me open, so. Fred, I think Cam's played 80 minutes in the span of 24 hours. Deshaun's about 73. Hanif's up there. Um, maybe just speak to the... Um, effort those guys put in to not only play that big of a role, but play as well as they have the past few games. Yeah, hell, I, w I was tired. I, you know, I can't imagine how those guys felt out there. So, um, you know, and that goes back to the mental toughness, the mental preparation of, you know, that's what you have to do when you have a shorter prep. And, you know, maybe being in where I was the last, you know, almost four years and, you know, playing in that league as long as I did to be able to have that experience and how you need to prepare, you know, I don't know, maybe that helped a little bit, you know, to try to uh, get our guys to go out there. We watched a lot of film in the last two days and have had short, uh, you know, walkthroughs on the floor. And, you know, again, I give our guys a lot of credit for going out there and following, uh, you know, not an easy game plan. Purdue runs as many quick hitters as anybody in the league, but it was more conceptual uh, things out there on the floor. And for our guys to go out there and execute was, uh, was a testament to them. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, Sports Director at KRVN. Thanks for watching this video on our YouTube channel. Now, to keep up to date with all of the things we have going on in terms of sports, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is hit the little red button in the corner.